Okay, real quick overview of water heater pump inlets. Since we uh, got cut off last night. So, uh, power into a pump and pump switch and tank uh, fill indicators. Uh, tank water in to pump filter. Following up, and we've got pump water out. Um, I use braided half inch to half inch male to half inch female PEX connector to T PEX connector. Going up, we've got P uh, a PEX connector uh, city coming in. Check valve, city coming in. That line goes up and over to there, city in. Out here, we've got uh, pump cold out, which immediately tees off to uh, sink cold. Comes over here and tees off to shower cold cold into hot water heater. We've got coming out of hot water heater, we had to use brass because we needed a T valve and a pressure relief. Pressure relief goes into a swivel nozzle to PEX connector. So this is our drain line for uh, in case we get overheated drains right out the bottom of the unit and this is our hot into swivel pex pex connector comes over there and tees off one coming back here to the sink one going off to the shower so that concludes the pump as far as the uh, pump power we come up here to our micro monitor pump on and off uh, this will be gray water fill, which I think the power is off, so it says empty. Black water fill, fresh water, and battery indicator. Uh, there isn't actually a lead for the battery. It actually goes off voltage, so it's showing my battery is full every time I use it. Um, all of these are showing empty because as of right now, the leads are disconnected. Why? Because I don't have tanks yet. Okay, moving on to um, hot water heater. We already talked about the uh, water in, water out. When it comes to power, we've got power coming in. Uh, it's pretty low voltage, I think 5 amp or something. Um, and then we have to our controller, two, uh, one black wire that comes out of the controller and then at the very bottom, it splits into two itty bitty black wires. And then this has two blue leads coming out that have no markings on them, neither do the black. So I read the manual. You are allowed to connect any blue to any black in any order. As long as one of the blues is touching one of the blacks and the other blue is touching the other black, uh, the mechanism will work. Um, here I've got city water in, vent for the tank, and a gravity fill line for the tank. I used uh, plumber's tape, zip ties, more plumber's tape to just give these some support. I've got pipe clamps here. I'm going to use Sikaflex around this. Uh, I'm not going to use any Sikaflex around that because I'm worried about that. Um, I'm not worried about that. I may put some Sikaflex there and I'm going to put Sikaflex there. I'm going to put Sikaflex around those pipes exiting, and I'm probably going to um, test this bad boy before I do panels. There will be a bottom access panel to the left of the toilet down here, um, probably about this height, about waist height, 
so that you can remove this panel to access the back of this, access all of the uh, water fill lines, um, access the gas line. This will have um, some access to the pump through the uh, sink cabinet, but I will uh, build this in such a way that the sink can actually be, sink and cabinet can be removed. I will uh, pin it in with um, L brackets from the inside, pinning it in and securing it really well, but making it in such a way that it's just a bunch of screws and L brackets holding all of uh, the sink countertop um, and um, cabinet in. That way, if we need access to any of this, there will be an easy access through the sink doors. Um, if we need access to any of this, there will be this. If we come into big problems, the uh, this whole uh, kitchenette will be removable. There'll be a giant panel there that should give us access to absolutely everything. The only thing that's really not gonna have any access is this back wall, these lines running to the shower are gonna be pretty, uh, you know, pretty sealed in. I do not think that there will be easy maintenance on any of these things. So we will do many test runs before we bolt all this up. Um, this is our temperature gauge for the hot water heater and I will do a tutorial on that once I get it all uh, plugged in and running.